Good morning and welcome to So Like a Pro. Um, we're going to do the Odie belt. I just discovered a big old horse fly in my basement while I'm working. Anyway, this is a, a picture of the Odie belt and I call it a sash. So I discovered that it's called by more than one name. Mine is made out of leather. And it's finished four inches wide, and you can make the straps as wide as you like and as long as you like. Uh, I think when you do four inches, that's wide enough that it's not getting into your rib cages. I think if you do higher or wider than four inches, that is going to be right in your ribs, and it'll be uncomfortable. So, to draft this, you want to make it at least two inches smaller than your waist so you can pull it in tight and you can make it meet at the center and then wrap and tie in the front. So I'm going to do mine. I'm going to use my ruler. My paper is folded in half so my uh, fold line will become my grain line and my fold line is my center front. So I'm going to draw a line 13 inches and this here is Finish four inches wide, so I'm going to do it five inches. That will include my seam allowance. Line it up square. Take your time and make all the lines very accurately. So then I'm going to measure down three inches and three inches on the sides. And then I'm going to find my center. It's five inches wide, so that's two and a half inches. And then I'm going to come over an inch and an inch off my center. And I'm going to join these lines together. So that's the shape of my pattern. You can always go back and blend these in with a soft, soft curve if you like. Then take your ruler and measure in eternally your half inch seam allowances so we go all the way around the perimeter get our seam allowances here I have it the pattern cut out and you can mark it the same on both sides Depending on your fabric, your grain line can either run down your center. You can use either or grain line. And for my fabric, I would press interfacing on it to stabilize it. You want to make sure that your belt stay nice and stiff so that uh, it'll stay conformed to your body and not, you know, mush down like that. The whole point of it is for it to help shape you like an hourglass. All right, my belt, then I would just take my belt, I take this, fold it in half, press it, line it up in the center, fold it, press it. The one end, I want to fold back, press it. So when I edge stitch it, then that's going to be finished. This end will be right sides, pin it together, the other belt exactly the same, make sure the seams are going the same direction, pin those together, take the two right sides together, and so start at the center, few inches in, all the way around, flip the right side out, edge stitch, top stitch, oldie sash belt. Top stitch a whole lot if you like, just along the edges you like. You know you have to make sure you close up the center. You're going to have a fabulous belt that's going to make you look so good every time you wear it. Do it in neutral colors so you can wear your belts with a lot of different things. God bless your sewing project. And let's pay it for it. Do something for somebody else. Make a belt. Make one of these for somebody else. Put a big old Kool-Aid smile on their face. We just love gifts. We don't have to wait for special occasions to give somebody a gift. Show the love. God bless all your sewing projects. Send me uh, images of your belts. God bless you. Have a good one. Bye-bye.